632. It is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and today is internationally known as Denim Day. The day is a part of a rape prevention education campaign. Lauren Winfrey is live with more on what local groups are doing for it. Hi, Lauren. Hey, good morning, Susan and Vince. Not only may you see some people at work wearing jeans, but if you're in the downtown area on Wisconsin Avenue, just look up because the light poles are also draped in denim. And this is all in an effort uh, with the mayor and the city to promote sexual assault awareness. Now, this is Milwaukee's seventh annual Denim Day, and the hanging jeans are a part of the Denim Day awareness effort focused on ending sexual assault and victim blaming. Now, Mayor Barrett encourages employers to allow their employees to wear denim, and he's also asking everyone to pledge their support online through the Denim Day Milwaukee Facebook page. It's also there you can find local events happening all around town today to celebrate and honor Denim Day and sexual assault awareness. And along with victims, there are also also a number of survivors. In fact, our Julia Fellow spoke with a woman about her story and what this day means to her. Julia? Good morning to you, Lauren. I'm here on the north side of 12th and Atkinson. Rosalind Metcalf tells me at 15 years old, right here when she got off a school bus about 23 years ago, she was abducted and sex trafficked. She says that it can happen to anyone at any time. I had on jeans, um, I had a book bag, a, a jacket. She's highlighting what she was wearing as a child to show how outraged she feels about the case that spurred Denim Day in the first place. When an Italian judge dismissed a woman's rape claims because he said her jeans were so tight, she would have had to remove them herself for the crime to have even happened. Rosalind shared her painful journey of being kidnapped, held captive, and sex trafficked in her book called Smoking Out the Shadows. The suspect who abducted her back in 1996 is now in federal prison for child sex trafficking. Rosalind tells me it's so so important to believe victims who come forward and power their truth. Still, it doesn't mean these crimes will end overnight. It's just really horrible that we're being looked at, um, you know, as if it's okay or you're not a victim because you have on fitted jeans, you know, or you, you have on accessories or, you know, things that women love to wear. So um, it's definitely, you know, just a huge deal. She tells me that she also has a nonprofit organization helping other women who went through the same thing called Healing Starts Today. She hopes that you wear jeans as well just to even start a conversation. Reporting live, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.